Anita, do you like recording? Do you like that process? I like like it when I'm in there. I don't like the lead up up to it, and I don't like the afterthought of. Well, the lead up's really, you know, kind of. Oh God, I hope I'm going to be good enough. I hope it's all going to sound great. And then you do the recording, and you actually enjoy being in the studio with the guys. And then afterwards, oh, I hope that track that I recorded at quarter to one in the morning is as good as I thought it was at quarter to one in the morning when I recorded it. But, you know, I, I look at it like this. It's it's an example of what you did that day. It's a snapshot. It's a snapshot of Anita Wardell on the 5th of April 2012, and this is what I did today, you know. And that's that's really all I can say. But I do enjoy the process. I love the kind of, the, I love the techie stuff as well. I love, you know, hearing when they put the expensive reverb on, if, you know, how that makes it sound. And, and, and I just like that process. I think it's, I mean, I'm a bit of a geek and I love it. Was it a quick process? Um, the, the recording of all the tracks went down in two days. The beds? The beds of everything. And a lot of the vocals went down. Okay. I put a lot of the vocals down and then I went back in to just check, you know, there's odd notes here and there. So I fixed up a few odd notes here and there and we overdubbed the, the percussion and the guitar, you know, um, except for a couple of tracks, the, the guitar and the percussion went down all together, but there's a few where it's, it, it went on over the top. So, um, yeah, I, I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. So is it, do we have a title for this record? Um, not a, a clear kind of uh, decided title, but uh, there are a couple of ideas in the, in the pipeline. Um, I'll know in a couple of months probably when it's going to be, but I'm looking at a, a September launch, probably September, October, autumn launch nice. here in the UK. So, and yeah, I'm, I can't wait. I want it to come out now. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Do you get involved in the mixing as well? I will probably go to the mixing. I leave it up to the guys on the desk. Um, hopefully, there won't have to be too much, you know, faffing about because I, I you know, sometimes when you hear the, the the track back, it sounds so good if they just like adjust the bass, make sure everything's kind of nice and even. I like that sound, so hopefully they won't sort of mess about with it too much that it's going to change. I doubt that very much because they're kind of these guys are really great and you know they'll they'll make it sound good. But I will listen definitely and just put my little. My, 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 my ideas yeah. across, yeah. And where was this recorded? This was recorded at Proper Studios. Oh, it's called Proper Studios? Uh, yeah, because Proper Records is a, is a distribution uh, label um, and Malcolm Mills is the, the chairman of the, of the whole company and they've got a subsidiary uh, label called Specific, which is what my album will come out on. And they've also got Proper Records, which is used for folk people. You know, Joan Baez is, is, is um, one of the, he's distributed by Proper. But they've got um, Nick Lowe, who's put out by Proper Records. And so, yeah, so there's a number of artists on that folksy, kind of rootsy music. And then there's the jazz label Specific. Very exciting.